Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going to be going over a 2019 Ram 2500 Laramie Sport Appearance Package. Now I picked out the Laramie Sport Appearance Package because I feel like this is the package to go for on the heavy duty. As always, we'll do a quick walk around on the truck and then we'll take it out to see how it drives. If you are stopping in for the first time, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And then this vehicle is being provided to us by Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah. And as always, for all of you that are wondering, the price on this truck, this truck stickers for just over $73,000 with all of the options that it has. Under the hood here of this particular 2500, we have the 6.7 liter Cummins. The standard motor is a 6.4 liter Hemi. The Hemi puts out 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. This Cummins though is probably what most of you are gonna get in this truck and that's good for 370 horsepower and then 850 pound-feet of torque. It's all routed through a six-speed automatic transmission, the 68 RFE. If you do get that V8 option, you will get an eight-speed automatic transmission. Wrapping things up on the front, we can start on the hood. So it's got that signature Ram hood. So you've got a couple body lines just right there. And then we've got the LED lights just below. You can see those LED reflector lights with the LED accent lights. Turn signal is just integrated right there. Fog lamps are right down here with some parking sensors. You do get blacked out tow hooks on the sport appearance group. It's got the Ram logo. There are some chrome accents in this area, but the whole bumper is gonna be body colored on this sport appearance package. And I definitely like that look um, compared to the just chrome look with the bumpers. Now around the side here we have a pretty standard setup for a heavy duty truck. We've got 18 inch rims with 275 millimeter tires front and rear here on the sport appearance package and then up here we've got the heavy duty 2500 logo Cummins logo since this has a diesel motor Ram logo right there. Sadly they're not all blacked out but maybe that's a little bit too much to ask for right now. Now back here we've got the key fob for the 2500. We've got a couple functions, your lock and unlock, and then you've got your remote start and your tailgate release. If we press the remote start twice, that'll lock it, and then the diesel motor will start up. And then if you press that again, that'll shut the motor off. The other button, like I said, is that tailgate release. So you press that twice and that'll slow lower down the tailgate. You can get a bed liner as an option or you can put it in after the fact. This particular one has LED bed lights. There is a little switch there to turn them on. And then this one has the cargo camera. So you can see the LED lights that come with that cargo camera. And then this is a short bed. So it's six feet, four inches. You can get an optional long bed with the crew cab or with the regular cab and that is going to be eight feet if you get the long bed. Finishing things out back, we've got the Laramie logo with the four x four Ram badge right there. And then you have your full LED tail light right in this segment. And then that's actually part of the sensor. That's why it's kind of darker red compared to the rest of the tail light assembly. Parking sensors are gonna be integrated at the bottom of the bumper. Receiver hitch with all of your regular plugins right there next to the license plate. Now opening up the door here on the crew cab, we can see the side steps popped out. You've got some leather with some stitching here, and then you've got suede inserts. The black trim comes with the sport appearance package, more of that stitching. You've got your little door handle right there, and we can look at the seats here. So this is the black leather, so you get some suede inserts on them. Little ice buckets just down in this area. You can pick up the seats. There's these little storage bins, subwoofers under the other seat for that nine speaker Alpine sound system. And then you can actually pull these little trays out basically to have a flat loading floor here in the crew cab. Looking at the back here, we've got all of our setup. So more of that black trim that comes with the sport appearance package, cup holders, vents, you got some USB ports right here, and then you have a power outlet as well. Now we've got keyless entry in the door, so one touch to lock it, and then to unlock it, you just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle. But before we do that, here are the trailer mirrors that are an option on this truck. I recommend getting them. So you've got flip up on those trailer mirrors. You do have blind spot monitoring with them, and then they are power folding in this particular trim package. So if we open up the door, we can actually see the control for that. So here's the whole door panel. But here's that control to power fold in or out the mirrors. You've got a couple other controls. That is to adjust the little convex mirror and the power folding mirrors. And then you've got all of your memory seat controls right here. Press it again to fold out the mirrors. Regular mirror controls, window controls, and then your door lock and unlock function. Pretty standard. We've got the seat over here. So power adjustments on the seat with some lumbar. We look at the full seat right here. It says Laramie at the top of the seat. You can see more of the suede inserts, leather bolsters, and then it is perforated in the center seat for that ventilated function. And then you can see the pedal layout with the hood release down there. Got a regular parking brake. These are your light controls, and then that's your fog lights, and then that's your cargo light, and then the dials to dim or brighten the screens right there. 
power adjustable pedals, and then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Step and height is really good with those side steps. It makes getting in and out of the Laramie really easy, but to start up the truck, it's a push button, so just put your foot on the brake. It'll automatically do the diesel preheat for you if you push the button, so you don't have to push it multiple times. Now let's look at the steering wheel. So around the steering wheel, we've got leather with the contrasted stitching on the inside. We've got some controls in the steering wheel, so this comes with adaptive cruise control. That's your regular cruise control function. Gear selector, so if you want to shift the gears yourself, and you do get the gear lever back here and they've got some nice padding on it. Phone controls are all over here, and then that's for your center screen, these little buttons right there, and then there's rocker panels on the back of the steering wheel to control the radio stations, and then you've got your regular turn signal, windshield wiper stock just behind it. My apologies for all the glare, but I am filming this on the 4th of July, and you can see the American flag kind of in the uh, one glare spot over there. But on the left-hand side, we've got the RPMs. On the right-hand side, we've got the speedometer. And then we can actually scroll through this little menu. So you can see all the different menus that you can go through. This is um, standard on the Laramies, but it's a bunch of different menus that basically give you every bit of information that you could want on the truck. We've got a little charging station up there and let's go over this 12 inch display. You can get the 8.4 inch. This 12 inch is optional equipment. Analog climate controls on the side of the touchscreen with analog radio controls. And then we've got our parking sensors just down here, your tow haul mode. That's your diesel exhaust brake. And then you've got your trailer brakes right there, CD player, and then some USB auxiliary right over there. And then over on this side, we've got a two-wheel drive, four-wheel high, four-wheel low shifter, and then true neutral is right there. And then let's go over everything on the touchscreen now. Here is the 12-inch screen and there's only really one function I've noticed you can really do split screen with, and that's just the controls tab. So that's for your heated, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. And then we've got your button to deploy the side step and then your camera system. So let's go to the regular backup camera. You can see that'll pop up at the top. You can zoom in and out. You do get a cargo camera, and you notice you can adjust the center line on that. And then there's some side cameras, which you can go to either side of the truck with these two little side cameras right here. And then the last part is the surround camera. So you get a bird's eye view and then you get different camera views as well. So you can see that there's different view for the rear and then you do have cameras on the front. So everything on this truck is covered by a camera. Now going over the rest of the screen, this is all drag and drop with these functions right here. Um, you will know that there's a bunch of different services that you can basically pay for on these. Navigation does take up the entirety of the 12 inch screen. Other than that, really responsive and easy to use. This does have the wireless charging set up. Here is the center console. So this little tray slides back and forth. You get extra storage under here. And then under this bottom tray, you can see that you get even more storage. There is that little max fill area so that that would hit into it. And then as always with the consoles, you do get the little measuring table right there, but plenty of storage space in this area. And while we're on storage space, let's come over to the glove box. You can see it's a dual glove box, both lined with felt and Pretty typical um, nowadays in the truck segment, but a good amount of storage space in that area. Now I've got all of our controls up here. So that's the tailgate, your light controls, and then the power rear signing window. That button is right there for that. And then you can just get a regular single um, sunroof. There is no panoramic option. What Ram told me is they don't do a panoramic option because it would basically mess with the structural integrity of the truck. And so they would have to, basically they have structural components right here in the roof and they can't really um, take that away. And so that's why you only get a single sunroof option in these. Wrapping things up on the interior of the Laramie Sport, I like the black accents on this. If you want a little bit nicer with the leather, obviously go for the Limited or the Longhorn, but the interior on this is very nice. Um, a lot of nice materials used overall. That all being said, let's take this Laramie Sport out to see how it drives. Setting off here in the Laramie Sport and something that I actually want to mention is I'm sad that they don't give us the sport hood that you can get on the half tons. I think that sport hood would look really good on a heavy duty truck. Now setting off initially, visibility, let's talk about that. These trailer mirrors literally show everything in terms of visibility, especially that convex mirror. You can see everything through the mirrors on the side. The hood, it's actually really easy to see over the hood and those parking sensors are gonna help out on that aspect as well. Over both shoulders, visibility is good. And since this truck is so high off the ground, it's actually really easy to just see everything around you. 
Now let's talk about road noise and ride quality. Ride quality is really smooth on this 2500 with that coilover suspension. It's going to be significantly smoother than the one ton truck with the leaf springs in the rear. And in terms of road noise, you don't actually hear a whole lot. This truck's actually pretty well insulated and you do get some nice noises from the diesel motor. But other than that, like I said, it's well insulated on the cabin. Now, taking a turn here, the steering is super light. The truck kind of goes right where you want it to go, but in normal truck sense, it's not like direct, like a sports car, essentially. It is a truck at the end of the day. Let's get a acceleration with this diesel motor just to see how it performs. Yeah, I mean, I got up to speed right away. 370 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque, more than adequate. And if you are towing a trailer, I imagine this is just going to pull it super strong. These new 2500s actually can tow up to like 19,000 pounds with how they equipped most of them. Um, obviously, if you do like the two-wheel drive, yada, yada, whatever. But how most of them are equipped, towing is going to be right around that range, which is just substantial for a single rear wheel truck. To sum things up on this 2500 Sport Appearance Package, I feel like this is the package to go for if you want something that's not going to be your run-of-the-mill chromed out truck and replace these rims with black stuff. That's all I have to say. So do some blacked out rims on this and you know maybe something like a leveling kit and this would be such a good looking truck. It already looks good from the factory though with the body painted bumpers and in terms of the heavy duty market, this Cummins motor is super reliable and Obviously, it's not going to have as much power as like the Chevy or the Ford, but it's more than enough power. And so if you are in the market for a new heavy-duty truck, check out one of these Rams and check out the Laramie Sport package. Even if you are looking into the Limiteds and the Longhorns, I would still check out this package. I think the interior looks great and I love the exterior. And there we have it, everyone, the 2019 Ram 2500 Laramie Sport Appearance Group. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you're stopping in for the first time, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and then a big shout out and thank you to Larry Schmiller, Dodge Ram, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with the vehicle. If you're on the market for a new Ram, check these guys out. I'll see all of you in that next video.